All right, I want to use this time here to talk about a pretty important concept in statistics. And um, it's a con concept, if you kind of understand it early on, it could really help you out here. And it's called Simpson's Paradox. And I'm going to use this baseball example here to um, explain it as best I can. So let's say it's the bottom of the ninth, and you need uh, a pinch hitter to get a key hit to win the game. And you're choosing between two players, player A and player B. And you got to make the decision as to which player you're going to put in to get that key hit. Well, first off, let's look at their overall numbers. So overall, player three or player A is 33 out of 103. That means player A here, overall, player A has a batting average of .320. Not too bad. Player B is 45 out of 151, and that is .298. So, seems pretty obvious that if you're trying to put the best hitter up there, it's best to go with player A. Player A clearly has a much higher, 22 points higher, um, batting average. However, things start to change, and things start to become a little bit weird when we look at left versus left-handed pitchers and versus right-handed pitchers. So, versus left-handed pitchers, player A is 28 out of 81. That is .346, pretty good batting average. Player B is 12 out of 32, which is .375. So, what I'm noticing here, in terms of going against a left-handed pitcher, player B is better. How about right-handed pitchers? Well, player A was 5 for 22, that's .2. Two seven, and player B is 33 for 119, which is 0.277. So notice something weird here as well. Look at this for example. Player B is better against left-handed pitchers and better against right-handed pitchers. Player A is worse, comparative, against left-handers and right-handers, but overall, player A is better. How does that make sense? The numbers don't lie. I didn't change any of these numbers or do any kind of weird math to trick you guys. A is better overall, but individually in each category, left-handed and right-handed pitchers, player B is better. How is this possible? Kind of makes you think a little bit. And this whole idea of what's going on here is what's known as Simpson's Paradox. And it's a little bit kind of difficult to explain, but um, I'll explain as best I can. Uh, um, B hits better against both right-hand and left-handed pitchers. So no matter the pitcher, B is the better choice. Makes sense. So why is his batting average lower? Well, because B sees a lot more right-handed pitchers than A. And at least for these guys, right-handed pitchers are harder to hit. So look at this. For right-handed pitchers, they're both low. Right-handed pitchers, for some reason, both of them have a hard time hitting, both in the low or in the 200s. And B sees a lot more pitches from right-handers. So that low number, even though 277 is bigger than 227, because so many of B's pitches, a ton of them, 119 out of 151, come from right-handed pitchers, this 277 is actually weighted more for the overall value for B. Against left-handed pitchers, they're both pretty good. But again, A has a lot of his pitchers coming from left-handers. 81 out of 103 is a pretty big bulk of the pitches. So the best, they're both really good against left-handers, and A has a lot against left-handers, so that's weighting A's overall average up. They're both poor against right-handed pitchers, but B faces more right-handed pitchers over the course of the 151 at-bats. So that low value for B is weighting his average lower, causing that average of 298 to go down, whereas A's is going up to 320. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, for some reason, A is used mostly against left-handed pitchers, so A has a higher average. So again, that's the idea of Simpson's Paradox. These numbers aren't even. It's not like they all saw 50 against lefties and 50 against righties. It's not even, which causes this paradox. Overall, A seems better. But individually, A is not better. B would be the better choice to go for the game, because he's better against righties and he's better against lefties. Again, the main overall reason, which is creating Simpson's Paradox, is that so many more of B's pitches came from right-handed batters, or right-handed pitchers, excuse me, which they're both bad at. So that 277 is weighing down B's overall average. When it comes to left-handed pitchers, so many more of A's 
at-bats came against left-handed pitchers, which he or she, so it means he for baseball, right, was better at. So even though individually the 375 is higher than 346, it was weighted less because it was 32 versus 119. Same thing up here, 81 versus 22. So that's the idea of Simpson's paradox. So don't let overall averages confuse you. Sometimes you have to really dive deeper into the numbers and discover why that is. And for example, the explanation here is B is better because individually, left-handed, right-handed, he is better. And it comes down to where the majority of the pitches came from and that average weighing down or for A, weighing up their values. So hopefully Simpson's paradox makes sense to you.